Okay, this is the Sheraton Philadelphia downtown. Um, I've stayed in this hotel actually before. It used to be under a different brand. Um, I believe it was a Marriott brand of some sort. This hotel actually used to be quite a bit of a dump, uh, and they've really redone it here with a uh, with a refurb, which is nice. Um, this is just a standard king room. Unfortunately, I wasn't upgraded to anything uh, better as a titanium. Uh, it looks like there is some deluxe rooms available in the app, but um, we were just sort of doing small talk at the front desk and um, they didn't really offer anything better than this here, but I'm only here for one night, so uh, it's okay. Um, Coming into the room here, we've got a closet here on the right-hand side, ironing board and hangers. Coming in a little bit further, we've got a king bed here, um, two nightstands kind of on either side, cool little uh, wall um, design here behind with some items from uh, Philadelphia. In front here, we've got uh, a place where you can store your bag. In here, a uh, area with just some shelving. It doesn't appear that there is a refrigerator in this room, which is kind of disappointing. I wish there was. Um, television right in front here, little area to work right here with a desk. Uh, nice large chair, which this looks like, yep, it is. This is a uh, pull-out bed. Uh, so if you did have another person, you could arrange the chair here for that. Um, standard little just, you know, dining table there off in the corner. Um, view out of this room here is not terrific, unfortunately. It's just really against another office building. Um, you can kind of see, I think we're facing towards the art museum on the other side of this building, but you really don't have a great view, unfortunately. Um, kind of facing back here through the room, we've got your bed, two nightstands on either side, um, nice large room. It is definitely refurb from the last time I've been here, so there's no question that this is a much better hotel than it used to be. Um, there is a club lounge downstairs. They're offering light snacks. I was given uh, breakfast vouchers for tomorrow in the restaurant, so that's a much better uh, deal than the club lounge. And, um, uh, but it is open, you know, if you are eligible for that as a titanium. Coming in here to the bathroom, just a standard sink. Um, hair dryer, some towels, that kind of thing. Nothing too fancy. Uh, they have upgraded the showers here. I believe this used to be a tub, if I remember right. Staying at this hotel quite a few years ago when it was under that different brand. Individual soaps there. Um, small bathroom, but you know, it's doable for, for a hotel like this. Um, I am on a rate of about $90 here tonight, so certainly cheap. Downtown Philadelphia, it can't get much better than this. Uh, I wish they would have upgraded me to something maybe a little bit larger, but that's okay. Not a problem. Um, um, you know, it's a good hotel, good location, just blocks away from Suburban Station. So for those that want to take the SEPTA, uh, you can do that. You can take it right to 30th Street. You can take it right to uh, Philadelphia Airport. Uh, to walk from 30th Street, which is what I did, call it maybe a 20-minute walk. Very beautiful outside. Uh, not a bad walk at all. Uh, and this is the Sheraton Philadelphia downtown. Uh, of course, in downtown here, Philadelphia. About $90 or so for a uh, one king bed here. Um, and I am impressed so far at the renovations that they've done at this hotel. Um, I wish I could tell you the name of the previous hotel when I stayed here. This was several years ago, uh, maybe three or so years ago, but they've definitely done a nice refurb here. Um, so this is a good hotel here uh, now in downtown Philadelphia.